Find the distance between the two points, 8, 5, and negative 1, 3. Now, I could graph that and do what I did in a previous video and make a right triangle, but I ain't. I'm going to use what's called the distance formula. The distance formula says I'm going to take a big square root. I'm going to do in one square root x sub 2 minus x sub 1, square it. I'm going to add y sub 2 minus y sub 1, square that. That's the distance formula. I'm going to label u x sub 1. I'm going to label u y sub 1. I'm going to label u x sub 2. I'm going to label u y sub 2. Now, if you're looking at that and saying, man, that awfully looks like Pythagorean theorem, but with points instead of lines and sides, you're absolutely right. It is the Pythagorean theorem. So a lot of similar stuff is going to happen here where we square things and maybe square root it. Maybe something nice happens. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But this is the distance formula. And if you look online and say, oh, I saw online that this is supposed to be x sub 1 minus y or x sub 2. doesn't really matter because whether this is positive or negative, once you square it, it's going to be positive anyway. Who frigging cares? So d is going to equal a big square root. Inside the first parentheses, I have x sub 2, which I called negative 1, minus x sub 1, which I called 8. Square that, plus y sub 2, which is 3, minus y sub 1, which is 5. Square that. Inside the square root, I have negative 1 minus 8, which is negative 9 squared. See what I mean? This is just going to become positive anyway. Plus... 3 minus 5 is negative 2 squared. Okay, let's bring that up here. The square roots are getting smaller. Negative 9 times itself is positive 81. Negative 2 times itself is going to be 4. And that gets me the square root of 85. Uh, I'm trying to think, can I break that down any further? No, I'm trying to think, like, if I go and make a factor tree and try to rip it apart... That gets me, what, 17 and 5, so that does me no good. So this is it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck at an ugly number. Now, if you were, if you had a teacher that said, well, what is what is that as a decimal? It would be 9 point something, because I don't know what the square root of 85 is, but I do know that the square root of 81 is 9. So something that's bigger than 85 is going to be something that's bigger than 9. So 9.2, blah, 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 blah. But whatever your calculator says. I'm not a calculator. I'm a human. I'm a human being, and I have needs, and I need you to, to smash that like button, all three of you watching this. Thank you.